Some charges have been withdrawn against the second suspect in the attack on a local teacher. Julie Grant was in the courtroom today for Vincent Beasley's hearing. Julie. Ken, good evening to you. Yeah, that's just some of those charges. Janice Watkins is the teacher who police say was hit in the head with a brick and assaulted by the mother of one of her students. Now today, Vincent Beasley, who is the boyfriend of that mother, waived his right to have a preliminary on the aggravated assault charges that have been brought against him. So that means those cases will head here to the Allegheny County Court of Common Pleas. Now, Watkins didn't want to do a filmed interview, but she did talk to me for quite some time. She was very nice, saying she still can't go back to school because her doctor has her on brain rest after her concussion. She told me she has four children, and her recovering has been very challenging for her whole family. For one thing, she still can't drive. Now, Deshanta Williams, who is the other co-defendant in this case, had her preliminary hearing last week. Police say that she admitted to attacking Watkins. Now today, two conspiracy charges and a stalking charge against Beasley were withdrawn. We talked to Beasley's attorney, Al Burke, about some video evidence that's not public, but did play a role in some of those charges being withdrawn. I do know that there was a definite difference between what the police wrote in their affidavit about what she alleges and what I can see on the video. Uh, I don't see a brick, but again, I didn't, I don't know if there's more than one video, and I think she was alleging the brick went inside the car. Watkins told me she really misses her students at MLK School. Beasley's attorney said that he came to Pittsburgh to go to school here, that he is 26 years old, and according to his attorney, has no criminal history. Beasley will have his formal arraignment on January. Williams will have hers on January 18th. Of course, we will keep you posted. For now, I'm Julie Grant reporting live downtown, KDKA TV News.